आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे In today's episode, we remember one of the prominent activists of the Indian Renaissance, Rajendra Lal Mitra, who was born on the 16th of February 1822 in Calcutta. Rajendra Lal was famous as one of the most learned men of India of his time and knew Hindi, Sanskrit, Persian, Urdu, English, French, Greek, and Latin. Rajendra Lal laid the foundation of the tradition of the study of Indian antiquities by Indians themselves. He worked throughout his life in the Asiatic society and rose from the rank of librarian to the society's first Indian president in 1885. Some of his pioneering works include the Sanskrit Buddhist literature of Nepal, the antiquities of Odisha and Buddha Gaya, the hermitage of Shakyamuni. Buddha Rajendra Lal was the chairman of the reception committee during the second session of the Congress that was held in Calcutta in 1886. He was one of the first Indians to be honored by scholarly and learned bodies in Europe in the 19th century. He was admitted as an honorary member of the Royal Asiatic Society of Great Britain and Ireland. He was also honored in Vienna and Italy. We salute the great Indian. We also remember the eminent scientist Meghnath Saha who died on the 16th of February 1956. Saha was forced to leave his school for his participation in the Swadeshi movement. While Meghnad was in school, the governor of Bengal came to inspect his school. Many students, including Meghnad, opposed the imperialist British governor. As a punishment, the school administration stopped Meghnad's scholarship and threw him out of the school. Later, he took admission in a private school. During higher studies at Presidency College, Saha was fortunate to have teachers like Jagdish Chandra Bose, Sharada Prasanna Das and Prapulla Chandra Ray. His class fellows included Satyendranath Bose and Bagha Jatin. Saha's best known work concerns the thermal ionization of elements and it led him to formulate what is known as the Saha equation. He also invented an instrument to measure the weight and pressure of solar rays and helped to build several scientific institutions such as the physics department in Allahabad University and the Institute of Nuclear Physics in Calcutta. As the chairperson of the Calendar Reforms Committee set up in 1952, Saha helped assimilate 30 kinds of Indian calendar systems into one national calendar. Saha was nominated for the Nobel Prize in Physics multiple times and was also elected to the first Lok Sabha in 1952 as an independent candidate. He worked as a professor of Allahabad University and thereafter as professor and dean at the University of Calcutta until his death in 1956. AIR salutes the great patriot scientist. We also remember freedom fighter Balcha who took part in the Bhumkal revolt in 1910 in the Jagdalpur area of Bastar against feudal and colonial exploitation. In the intense battle known as the Indravati Ford battle that took place on the 16th of February 1910, Balcha and his associates fought against the British. When the defeat was imminent, Balcha managed to escape along with his associates and rallied around the neighboring villages. However, they were surrounded on the night of 25th of February by the British forces and captured. 
the freedom fighters were charged with waging war against the British Crown and tried in the famous Jagdalpur trial. 78 of the freedom fighters, including Balcha, were imprisoned in Bastar jail, but later, in June 1910, shifted to the Raipur Central Jail, where he died suffering ill treatment and tortures by the jail authorities. We salute the great martyr. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.